Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was an email request about a popular short I made from a few months ago when the person that ghosts you actually decides to come back out of the blue. Now, you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time, and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. Understand this. Even if you have the strength to fight for them, want answers and closures as to why, sometimes we gotta accept the cold, hard truth. That sometimes, just sometimes, the people you feel like you can't live without can definitely live without you. And you know something? We have this perception that just because the bond was strong, because things were so fresh and new in the beginning, that it's beyond the realm of possibility that you were likely dating or in a relationship with someone who clearly didn't have their life in order. And when I say in order, I mean that maybe, just maybe, you were actually dealing with someone who places a premium on attention rather than love. Maybe you had someone who was more interested in seeking validation through your efforts than wanting to build something meaningful and long lasting. But you know what else? You may have just been the rebound and not even have known it. See, sometimes when people come into our lives, the whirlwind of romance ensues. And it's easy to get so wrapped up in the intoxication of it, ain't it? That we put everything else in our life on pause. But then the things that should give us pause, we put on the back burner. Like consider how available they were to you. How much did you actually know about their past, their previous relationships, their family dynamic? How about the dynamic between them and their kids? Did you ever meet anybody that was in their close inner circle? See, the reality is you didn't know shit about them. Yet because we live on hope and potential, because we like to get everything on demand, like a DoorDash delivery, it's easy to look at those red flags as a parade rather than something that you need to slow your ass down on. And it causes us to get emotionally caught up in the moment, right? And consider this for a second. They ghosted you. No answers, no explanation, and likely you were there holding that emotional bag. Disappointed, resentful, and likely mad that you spent so much of your time with them. So now, months or years later, they find it easy to just try and reach back out? To hit you with a hey text? To send you a DM? Like shit didn't go down the way you know damn well it did go down? Nah, full last stop. They were so disrespectful that instead of being an adult the first time around, letting you know, hey, look, this isn't something that I'm really interested in, that this wasn't a good time for me. I think I'm going to go back to my ex. They felt better to go ghost instead of just letting you know that it was a wrap. So now we got two forms of disrespect. First, them leaving and second to come back. And let me ask you something. How important is your time? The money you spent? Did you ever get a refund on the investment you made initially? And clearly they came back for a reason, right? Do they think that you were just going to be there? They think you ain't got no options? Regardless of the explanation, your principles and core values might tell you to maybe hear them out, but, and this is a big ass but, remember this, how you get them is exactly how you lose them. So you can try and date again, make it work again, but somebody who lacks the emotional maturity to appreciate you the first time around likely ain't worth it the second time around, right? Their actions and behaviors have already shown you clear as day as to who they are and what their character is. Not to add what they stand for, and we know that is no accountability. So you giving out second and third chances? Or you think it's best you invest in somebody that ain't about to waste your time? Again, choose wisely. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and come and join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.